All right, so now we're going to be working on mission two, which is triggers. So for this one, the way it works is we'll keep pressing the right button, and every time we do, it'll move from one step to the next. Like the first step will be take off, next will be forward, and next will be land for this code. So then rather than programming in the amount of time, you'll use your hand to control how long it moves in each direction. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, we need to start by including the code drone library, so we get all the background files. Then next, what we need to do is we need to pull, uh, get everything set up. So we need to do a codron.begin 1152.00. This gets the communication with the Bluetooth board going. And then we need to do a codron.autoconnect nearby drone. And this will connect us to a nearby drone, so that way we get both the Bluetooth board going up here. And then we also get the connection with our codron. All right, so now inside of loop, we're going to be using two buttons. We'll be using the left button as a kill switch and the right button to walk through each of our steps. So we'll go ahead and we'll read both of those buttons. So we do like this. So do button one equals digital read 11 and button eight equals digital read 18. We'll start by programming in the kill switch. So this will just to check if the button one is pressed, and if it is, we'll do a codrone.flight event stop to stop our codrone from flying. Next, what we need to do is we need to check to see if the right button is pressed. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll add that in. But now we need to figure out what we're gonna do if it is. So we're gonna create a variable called step, and what we'll do is every time we press it, we'll add one to step to progress our way through the list of steps. So up at the top of our code, we'll create step, and we'll go ahead and set it equal to zero, so that way it starts out at zero. And then every time we press it, we're going to add one to step. So it just keeps going up and up and up and up. But we're gonna have a slight problem. That means every time we press it, it keeps going up, so once we get to the end, it'll just keep going and we have to restart the code drone to start over again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if we've reached the maximum number of steps, and if we have, then we're gonna restart it back to zero. So for this one, we're gonna have it take off, which is one step, go forward, which is the second step, and then land, which is the third step. So since we have three steps, we're gonna add an if statement in here. And if we are ever greater than, step is ever bigger than three, we're gonna set it back to one. So that means on that third step, when we're doing our landing, when we press the button again, which would make step equal to four, instead of it still just doing the landing, what we're gonna have it do is loop back around and then we'll take off again. So this way we can keep having it happen over and over again without having to restart the code run. Then just to let us know that we're actually um, pressing the button, we're gonna add a little buzz and a bit of a delay so that way we can you know, have some audio feedback knowing that we're hitting the button. Um, and then also one thing we're gonna do is whenever we press the stop button, we're gonna put step back to zero, so that way it starts over again. So that way we don't have to worry about it, you know, if as soon as you take your hand off a stop, you know, it takes off again. This way it'll reset it back to zero, and we won't go anywhere. So now that we've got our buttons all set, taken care of, let's work on the steps. So we'll start, we'll just use some basic if statements, so like if step equals one. So for this first one, we need to do a takeoff. So we'll set throttle equal to 100, and then we'll do a codrone.control send interval to send that to the codrone. So now I'll just go through, and as long as we're still at step one, it'll keep doing this part of the code. So then as soon as we press the button again, we change our step number. So now let's add in the code for step two. So do else if step equals two. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pitch equal to 70, and then do another codrone.control. So now we should have it moving forward. And then again, once we press it again, we'll be on to step three. And what we'll do just to wrap it up for this last one is rather than doing an else if step equals three, for our last step, we're just gonna do a else. So that way, even if let's say, somehow we accidentally get to step four or five, you know, we didn't get our if statement up here quite right, this way it'll always just keep landing and won't do anything else weird. So now we should have this code about ready to go. We have our step variable created up here. We connect to our drones. We check the left sensor to do our kill switch. Every time the right sensor is pressed, we add one to step and loop it back around once we get beyond three. 
and then for each of our steps we have programmed in the exact controls. If you want to add in more steps, all you have to do is just do like else if step equals whatever right here bet before the else, and then just change this number. So this is the number of steps that we have, so if we make that a bigger number, we can change the wraparound point.